everybody and welcome to my life. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to introduce my first ever blog. Oh, vlog even. It's kind of crazy. Um, so this is my day in the life of a London student, or two days in fact, because I've got my exam tomorrow. But I'm actually starting off in Bournemouth, which is really weird. Um, but that's where I'm from. I've been here for like the last month on Easter. Um, and I'm just going back like the day of because to be honest, I prefer being at home than stuck in my halls whilst everyone else is at home. So the time is now quarter past 10. Um, I'm getting a coach up at two o'clock and I've just finished packing everything. I'm only taking one bag and then my laptop bag thing because I don't really want to haul a suitcase around if I have to get the tube or anything because that sucks. Um, but what also sucks is that I have to take a sleeping bag because we moved that me out on like May 10th. No, March 10th. No. April 10th? I don't know. We make me out on the 10th. And um, we took my duvet because I'm bringing myself down for the last time next Wednesday. Um, so obviously I can bring home my duvet. So I'm taking a sleeping bag with me. So I'm going to be looking like I'm running away from home, like hopping on the coach. Woo, here's my sleeping bag. Lego. But yeah, so I'm just chilling out this morning because don't want to revise and stress myself. Just got my breakfast, which I will show you now. So super simple, I've just got some gluten-free toast with a uh, whole earth smooth peanut butter and a good old cup of tea. And I'm going to have my, I keep touching my hair, I've just curled it and some of it's like a bit weird. Um, I'm going to have my cup of tea in front of the TV and I'm probably going to watch a police show because they're my latest obsession like police interceptors, traffic cops, love it all. And for those of you wondering, I have literally got minimum makeup just like a bit of concealer and mascara which is practically my everyday I don't really wear that much makeup and then I'm just wearing green top um this from American Eagle Outfitters and I think it was like 11 pounds it was like on sale or something and I just got my good old Jamie jeans to keep me going I literally haven't moved in like two hours <laughs> not a very exciting morning just sat here with my great blanket Look how cute this guy is though, adorable. So it's now 10 past 12, ooh, it's gonna boil over. Oh. It's now 10 past 12 and I'm making lunch or destroying lunch as I should say. Um, and I'm doing pitched egg on toast just super easy. Um, so all I've done is put some vinegar and some salt into the water with my little eggy. Um, and I'm just gonna keep that in there until the toaster pops because that's quite a good measurement of when your egg is done um, and I've made a second lunch as well just some rosy to cheese and coleslaw because like I said in my last video I'm revising which gives me the excuse to eat a lot moment of truth oh yeah yes please sleeping bag rucksack trusty laptop bag we're all good to go this coat's from Sainsbury's, by the way, and I love it. This accommodation is you have a different key for everything. Yeah. Floor seven, I'm on floor three. Great. 
First room smell of men's deodorant. Second room smells like weed. It's good to be back. And we're back. Yeah. So I will give you the grand tour. So basically, this is the entrance. It's pretty empty because I've already tidied, like cleared me out, like I said before. But you just got like a lock on the door. And then some hangers where I just put my coat. And then you've got two of these, one here and one over here. And then this is the bed, and this is all storage underneath it, which is super handy. Um, and I left this sheet, look how made that is. Nice one, Amber. Um, but obviously I haven't got a pillow or a duvet. I bought my sleeping bag. Then I've got a mini fridge with some water on top. Chair for my desk. This is actually a kitchen chair, but um, I didn't have a study chair when I moved in. So I've just used that for like the whole year. And my towel and then you have all of this um what are they called cupboards that's one shelves up there and then pretty good wardrobe space this side is all wardrobe some space up there and then these are all the like little cubby holes for your jeans and your shoes and stuff but yeah pretty decent i'll show you the bathroom because i know you're all dying to see it. um let's turn the light on might be a good start i don't know if i'm in shop right now but... so this is the bathroom so there's a mirror, hey, um, excuse the grace jumper, and my toothbrush and toothpaste I've left here, sink, toilet, which you don't really want to see, oh, don't really want to see, and the shower, but like I said, the whole thing is a wet room, so it gets pretty hot in there, but yeah. Don't you love a good siren? I don't know how vloggers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them, survive in London, like you must have to have every single window closed all the time, so you're just going to have to bear with me on that one. But I'll show you what I got in Sainsbury's because I think I've already shown you, but I'll explain my choices. I've got some milk for my porridge in the morning and some cups of tea because I'm a tea gal. Um, and I've got some wine gums, which is super rustly for my stepdad because he very nicely drove me to the train station. So I bought him some wine gums for the way home. And then I bought me some 12 bites because they were on offer and I'm going to be needing that revision sugar. And I planned on doing a workout at some point this evening to burn it all off again. So yeah, I think my plan now is to do a bit of revision because I haven't actually done any today and my exam is tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I'll talk you through that when I do it. And I think I will also edit some footage, probably what I've taken so far today. And I'll update you throughout the evening. I love this. This is how I used to FaceTime home, just on this little stand. Um, so I've just set out my spread, so I'll show you what I've done. Um, I've Basically, it was pretty confusing. My um, exam is on event marketing, so I've, and for the second question, you can write out the answer because it's based on five models, so you know it's going to be one of them. So you write out the answer for each, and you can almost memorise it and then like just use that. So I've written out all of my answers to all of the possible questions. Um, so I'm just going to read through those and make a mental note and also how you get the big bucks, the big grades is you have to know theorists, what they said and what year they said it. You don't need to know what book or anything. So I've done myself a little timeline but I'm going to try and find some extra ones to make myself a little bit better um, and I've just got what they said on the back because obviously it's no good if you know the name but you don't know what they said. Um, and then again, I've got my colourful ones, and I've just got my laptop set up so I can Google some authors and whatnot to enhance my learning. Hi guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here. As, as you can see by my pink face, I've just fallen asleep, um, but I've just gotten up to brush my teeth and I've put my PJs on under this jumper, so we're all good to go. Um, but I will see you tomorrow morning on the day of my exam. Good morning everyone, it is 9am, I have just woken up and it's time to start my day.
o'clock and I'm heading out because my friends are in the library so I'm gonna go there and just chill with them before my exam at two. I packed my lunch and I've got all my bags with me because I'm literally doing my exam and jetting off back home again. Okay, so I am out my exam, thank goodness. I finished half an hour early, so that was pretty good. And I wrote down everything I wanted to, and I remember all my theorists, yay. Um, so now I'm just going to head back to Bournemouth the same way, I'm gonna get the tube, the tube, um, and then, okay, see you there. 